Hey guys, um, today I'm installing a uh, Raptor style grill on my Ford F-150. Um, this is the this is the grill that we're replacing. It's just a cheap, crappy grill that it comes with, um, and I like the Raptor looking grill because it says Ford on it. Looks pretty sweet. So I got one. Um, I think I paid like seventy-six dollars for it on eBay. I looked at all of them. There's some that are two hundred bucks. They're all made out of the same stuff. They all uh, have the same exact lettering they all work the same so um, I'm pretty sure that they all come from the same place from China and all these guys are ordering like 300 of them from Alibaba and website for you know cheap and then they turn around and sell them for hundreds of dollars here so um, yeah I found it cheap as possible one I had I could find and uh, there's nothing different between that and the $200 one so I'm assuming they're all coming from the same place Anyways, um, I am taking the tabs out of the car, and uh, I've never done any of this stuff before, but I'm a DIY kind of guy, so I figure I'm not going to pay somebody to do it. I'll just figure it out on my own. Um, but that being said, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like taking off some clips. All right, so when you watch the videos and the guys are like, oh, there's 12, 13, 14 clips, you know, they're all right here. It's really easy. Just pop them out real fast. Well being really easy is not definitely not the scenario so when you look at this clip this one lines up nice there's a little slot on the side where you put your screwdriver in and you just kind of side to side wiggle it until it pops up all right and it doesn't just come out so half the time this top clip comes out Sometimes the bottom clip doesn't come out and then on top of that now you got to wedge the screwdriver under here and kind of Wiggle this thing back and forth until it gets up a little bit and then Gingerly apply pressure and wiggle at the same time and it will come out If you pull too hard you run the risk of snapping it as you can see it's just thin plastic on both sides um, You know these things are just cheap so um, but Half the time, these don't line up like that. Um, where this lip is on here, I don't know if mechanics do it on purpose, but um, when they push this in, they'll turn it this way so that you can't get to it. So, you know, some of these take quite a bit of work to try and turn and force to go the opposite direction. And then once they're at that point, you can pop them out. but they are all over the place and you have to remove them all. See, that one came out a lot easier than the other ones did and I didn't break it. So that's a, wick, a, a victory. All right, so once you get all those tabs off, this cover right here, which was sitting here, you'll have to lift this vent up a little bit and tug it back, lift it up over the latch and it'll come right off set it on up there and uh, now it's time to work on the 10 millimeter bolts um, which are these right here there's one here one here one here one here and then there's a couple down here um, which I'll get to in a minute uh, right now I'm just taking those off and then uh, we want to make sure that we disconnect these wiring harnesses. well that came out nice and easy and this one does not look like it's going to come out nice and easy. This one looks like it's going to give me nothing but trouble. Um, hmm. um, I don't know. See, this is part of that stuff that everyone's like nah, it's easy just click it push the button oh, it comes right off no problems that is definitely not the case all right I'm gonna take a minute figure out what it is that I need to do here and then I'll be back wearing harnessed I switched over to the smaller flathead and you stick it right here where this clip is and you push down and apply a little bit of leverage 
and then this thing slides right off. So don't break it. That's uh, stick it in right here and then apply a little bit of pressure putting down force on this other tab that you see right here and it'll slide right off. All right, on to the next part. All right, so I took this clip out I put my finger under here and I just put a little bit of pressure and this, this the clips on here just started pulling out. So, you know, if you see, I'm just gonna, a little bit of pressure. All right. And that came out. I'm gonna pull a little bit down here. Everybody makes this look easy, Al. I'm gonna see if I can get to it without that. All right, same thing, other side. Put your fingers in here, and you just, a little bit of the tug, and there it goes, it popped, right? So now I can put my fingers here. I'm gonna, little tugs, until that comes out, all right? And that should put me where I need to be to get to these 10 millimeter sockets that you see. Uh, there's a socket there, and there's one right there. And then, uh, yeah, this whole thing should come out then. All right, there's a clip here, and one right there. These are a little bit hard. They're not like the other ones. You gotta just kind of wiggle them back and forth until they pop out. Um, you know, just t tension, not force. You know, you're just gonna add a little bit and just wiggle it side to side and it'll make its way out. Um, if you pull too hard, you'll probably break them. They seem like they're cheap plastic crap too. Um, but I haven't broken anything. But like I said, I'm being real gentle with how much force I use to pull them out and I'm wiggling them side to side until they come, all right? All right. So I got the grill out. That's that right there. I will say that there's another tab all the way down here. And these are by far the hardest thing to do on this whole entire project. Those alone, I mean, just getting your finger in there, the, the plastic stabs you, it's, it's just not easy. Um, and then this thing clips into the top of the grill to like keep it in there. There's no real simple way to, to take this out. Like, you have to force it out. But uh, it didn't break, so that's good. Time to move on to taking off all the components and putting them onto the new grill. All right, so as you guys know, everything's always, oh, look how nice and simple that is on all these guys' videos. That is definitely not the freaking case. Every single thing that can possibly go wrong always does. So like this these are supposed to screw off guess what they didn't they screwed off the bottom piece that connects to the front grill because some genius thought that uh, that they both should be threaded in the same direction when the nut turns you know lefty loosey righty tighty this should be the opposite it should be cross uh, it should be reverse threading on the base so that when you're loosening the bolt it's tightening on the bottom but hey that's just simple engineering that nobody thought about doing but anyways it leaves me with this and it's a pain I got the other ones off um, basically I just grab that brass piece with a pair of these wrenches and then turn the other side but getting it disconnected from this that was the the pain in the ass part so okay next uh, problem down uh we'll keep going all right okay well everything worked out pretty well um another thing on the other videos that they neglect to tell you uh let's see if i can find it all right there should be one on here all right so there's these posts like this they go into the bottom of the other piece there is a little washer that goes on there that looks like a pull-off tab it is not a pull-off tab. Uh, you actually use a socket, but you need one longer than this. And you back it off like a regular, uh, regular nut. But it looks like these push tabs. Uh, 
Um, but it, like I said, it is not. So don't don't mistake that. Okay. And uh, yeah, so then we just put everything back together the way it was. All right, guys. All in all, uh, it took me about, I'd say about 45 minutes, even with all those issues that I had, not including the wiring. I haven't done the wiring yet. Um, it's just not something that, uh, that I've done enough research on. Uh, personally, I want to pick the right connections, uh, the type of connector that I'm going to use, and all of that before I, I screw with anything electrical on my car. Because the uh, last thing I want is to put something in there that if a little bit of water and moisture gets to that it's going to screw it up. So I wanna, I'm going to invest in something quality and, uh, and make sure that it's done right, even though I'm going to do it myself. But uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the grill. Looks awesome. Love it. Super happy I did it. So, yeah, well, those are all the issues that I ran into. Um, you know, everybody else does the play by play um, and leaves that part out. So, I uh, wanted to make sure that when I did it, uh, I went over all of that stuff with you because it isn't as simple as, you know, wham, bam, and done. You know, you're gonna run into problems. You're gonna have uh, different issues come up. You're gonna have stuff snap on you. Um, you know, you're gonna get your knuckles busted up. You know, I. It it's not easy. I know everyone makes it look easy, um, and I'm sure if I was trying to do this and be like all professional about it, I'd be, oh yeah, look how great this is and how easy and simple. But you know what, I'm not an electrician. I'm not a mechanic. I just do my research and then I do stuff myself. Um, like I'm sure most of the people that go on YouTube and research these types of videos do do. And um, yeah, so those are my issues, um, which all in all, not bad. Um, I've had a lot worse go with wrong with a lot less. So I am very happy with it. Everything went smooth, um, you know, basic mechanics, like, and you can do this. Like if you can, essentially, if you can take, um, I don't even know, if you could take a light switch off of a wall, you should be solid. <laughs> you know, not everybody can do it. There's plenty of people out there that, you know, I'm more than happy to pay someone else to do their work for them, but I'm not one of them, so. I had to throw one last thing in here. Um, if by some odd, odd chance you did something wrong, your gauge cluster will tell you if something's not right with this because uh, you are installing the automatic uh, the air intake thing that's on the front of these Ford trucks. So if, if something's not working right or gets stuck or anything like that, it will let you know on your gauge cluster. Mine is working fine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know that as well if uh, when everything's all said and done that way you have a little bit of peace of mind um, Again, you know, thank you uh, Click like subscribe don't don't care. All right. Have a good one